Mendoza. I'm the Social Media Coordinator for Women's Project, and I'm sitting down with our lovely Director of Lascivia Something, Daniela Topol. Daniela, thank you for being with us today. Um, so just a few questions. Um, what was the initial attraction to the Lascivia Something script? Sheila and I had worked together on a play of hers called um, Dead City, and we worked on that in 2006. I saw actually a production of the City of Something at the Mentor Project, and it's just such a moving play. I mean, it's about uh, the complexity of choices, of how the past haunts you. Um, every moment is filled with the subconscious and the context. And so there were so many things that just sort of spoke to me about it. And Sheila and I are dear friends and deep collaborators, so it seemed like a natural that we would do this. How, what is the difference, um, or how important actually is having the playwrights input in the directing process? You know, we work, we're each other's eye. I mean, she's an eye for me on what we're making with the production, and I'm an eye for her on the script. So that's why we trust each other so much, and we're in this together. There she is. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about this. It's all right. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a late-breaking entry from the lovely playwright Sheila Callahan, who is joining us now. Um, I think he got a hike it over there. It's over there. there. So, ladies, my question is, uh, how have you enjoyed working for the Women's Project, and what is the importance of working for an organization that supports women theater artists like the Women's Project? Wow, I love working for the Women's Project. <laughs> Julie is awesome and super supportive, and she didn't say no to anything we asked for. I mean, we asked for a set made of 23 tons of rock. And it's a very beautiful <laughs> and impressive set. <laughs> and she said yes, yeah. so that was pretty remarkable. I mean, I think that it's because she's very, very courageous, aesthetically, and very collaborative, and very trustworthy. And, and she believed in the project in a big way. And believed in us. Yeah. She trusted us. Yeah. So, Sheila, my question about this would be something is, what attracted you to write a play about, you know, 1980s, and, like, November, like, days after Reagan was elected in the U.S. and in Greece? Well, I mean, I, 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 at the time I was starting the play, the Bush administration was sort of in full swing, and it was uh, right after 9-11. And I was trying to kind of parse out where the, I felt like the country went wrong, at least in my lifetime. Not went wrong, but just, you know, where it went against what, what I believed in. And I, and I kind of all, all roads pointed to Reagan. <laughs> and, uh, and so I, I, I was interested in that already. I mean, I wasn't writing a play about it. I was interested in it. And at the same time, I was falling in love with the Greek man <laughs> named Sophocles. And um, I was spending time in Greece at his family's um, land. And there was something that sort of spoke to me about talking about politics while in a foreign country in that time frame when the, when the world was still um, blind to what was about to happen to it. And so, um, uh, I don't know, it's sort of a retrospective kind of play, but what it wants, hindsight is, it's a hindsight play in that way. I mean, the play wants, want, uh, the play, I wouldn't say demonizes, but the play uh, approaches the question of what, what happened if this activist hadn't left activism behind? And so it, it, it asks us to question our own responsibility when it comes to civics and politics. And so, I mean, but in, in an emotionally connected way. And so maybe, I mean, that would be like, that's like a long term, you know, big pie in the sky kind of goal. I want people to be entertained and walk out with an experience. But the, like, the sub goal is to have people consider their civic responsibility, I guess, in a little way. And, and the purity of wh where their dreams were when they were young, you know, right. and like not to let those, not burying them, necessarily. Right. Yes. Well, thank you, Sheila, for writing this amazing play, and thank you, Daniela, for directing it in such a way that just completely like, pulls the heartstrings. Um, so, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Right. Thank you. <laughs>